Let's say you just got that stimulus check and you're looking for some fragrances to buy for this summer. On this list, I have some that are affordable, some that are niche, some that are higher end designer, but at the end of this video, you should have a pretty good idea of some fragrances that you might wanna look into picking up for the summer. Now, most of the 10 that are on this list, I've had for a while and I've worn a bunch of, but some of them are still relatively new to my collection. And even after one, two, or three wearings, I can still see myself wearing the new ones very heavily this summer. Now I've kind of laid off the whole weekly rotation thing uh, just because I wear a lot of fragrances the other week. You know, I'm testing stuff, I'm wearing my first fragrance, I shower, put another one on, and it ends up being just a lot of work, a lot of stuff to write down and a lot of notes. And most of you, if you are subscribed to my channel, you see what I'm wearing. Like I tell you guys pretty much daily what I am wearing. Like tonight, what I'm wearing, I'm gonna go over with you guys, kind of how it's been going for me. And let's waste less time, let's get into it. was very very surprising to me i picked it up at walmart just the other day i was itching to go get something new you know what i mean felt the urge so i had to go out and just go to walmart i threw my mask on i went in there and saw they had it for, for deals just because i've gone there in the past and i bought you know 30 dollars purchases for one dollar that video is somewhere uh back you go back about a month you'll see that i went into walmart and i found a sean mendez the signature two for one dollar along with a whole line of other cheaper fragrances for one dollar it's crazy so i went into walmart to get that fixed on the blind buy and this is one of them that i picked up now the reason why it's at number 10 is because i have not given really enough wear to really give it any higher up in this list but one thing that i know for certain is that this thing it performs like crazy i put it on at like seven in the morning or before them before i had to get to work at around 1 30 in the afternoon i took off my mask and i was immediately hit with a scent and I was like, what is that smell? Cause it's so new to me that it, I couldn't really, it took a minute to process what I was wearing. I don't know if I just couldn't smell through my mask. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it was. This thing was beating off, this scent was beating off my skin. And I was just like, okay, well, yeah, this, that's a pleasant smell. Then it dawned on me, that's my fragrance. So with only three notes, you'd expect this fragrance to be pretty simple to kind of figure out what it smells like. Mandarin, Alaka Gala Wood, and Tonka Bean. The fragrance is Chrome Pure by Azaro. Now this fragrance is a very unique, different scent to it. It's not your general General blue freshy at all. Now the mandarin, the wood, and the tonka bean create this very sweet, uh, citrusy, different fragrance to it. And I'm only referencing base notes here. I'm not referencing Fragrantica, which could have more notes listed. That's just what they tell me there. I personally can only pick up the mandarin in this because I don't know what that Alcalagalo wood is. I can only assume that that's what that unique scent is that, that's to this. And like I said, hours and hours into me wearing this is when this was really projecting heavily off my skin. And it's a good scent, y'all. This is one that, that would create a very compliment-getting scent trial. I just know it. That sweetness in the Tonka, I think, is what really would make it very appealing to people that are around you. And I'm really excited to be wearing this. And again, guys, that was Azaro Chrome Pure. And number nine on this list is actually gonna be a combination of two fragrances. And number nine was also a blind buy. It's one that I was thoroughly impressed with. I'm kind of disappointed that I liked it as much as I did. Not that I was surprised that I like it, because if you know my taste, you know the kind of fragrances that I like, the fresh, the easy, the easy ones to wear, for the most part. So when I grabbed this, I initially was like, the chances are pretty high that I'm gonna like this. And I was not disappointed. Now the notes in this fragrance are lavender, coriander, peppermint, rosemary, orange blossom, with hard notes of jasmine, oak moss, geranium, sandalwood, and base notes of amber, musk, sandalwood, wood and cedar and the fragrance that we're talking about here guys is david off cool water which was a fantastic blind buy and the reason why it's here is because i'm going to be layering these two together the model owner spray along with actual david off cool water it's good it's timeless it's not something that's going to offend people around you it smells almost like the fragrance coming off of something like a body wash just very very pleasant like i said inoffensive and very easy to wear in the warm weather i feel like so yeah i'm very stoked to have both of these still want to try out the david off cool water intense though because I've heard it's like nothing like this. I've bought it once in the store. It was different then, but I want to have them, you know, side by side. You know, any question, obviously. And again, you guys, that was David Off Cool Water with David Off Cool Water deodorant spray. And number eight on this list is a fragrance that I had to go out and pick up a 200 ml of it because I was certain, I am certain that I'm going to be flying through it this summer. And if you've been here for a while, you know that I picked up two separate 200 ml fragrances in the past couple weeks. The one that I have here is going to be a bit pricier than the other. With top notes of ginger, grapefruit, and cardamom, hard notes of sage, rose, and geranium, and base notes of vetiver and cedarwood. This goes to Loam Team. Now they have this listed as a 3.8 on base notes. I disagree, very much so disagree with that. Now the grapefruit and the ginger that's on the opening of this is fantastic. It's one of the most uplifting uh, scents that I have in my collection, but it can be a bit spicy. So on really, really hot days, it might not be the answer, but on cool mornings in the summer, fantastic. On top of that, this is a great compliment game fragrance. And to me, it's different than most of the other fragrances that are in the Loam line. So it's something that's kind of unique and it has been discontinued so sorry 
not sorry. eBay has these. You can check them out. And again, guys, that is Loam O Team by YSL. And number seven on this list, guys, keeps going up and up. It started from me wearing it out of the shower to actually wearing it like out and about. This, the, the scent keeps impressing me. The, the performance keeps impressing me. And I'm showing you guys a bottle as I'm talking to you guys with my hands. Number seven goes to a fragrance that's said to be navigating through the open waters without a cloud in sight. With aquatic notes, sandalwood notes, and, and vetiver notes, this goes to Huron by Duke Cannon. And like I said, this has been one of the most impressive to me. It's the performance, the scent. The sandalwood is just so pleasant in this. The aquatic sandalwood and the vetiver, vetiver is it's really meshed all well together, but the vetiver is on the back end, I would say. It's it's more or less going to be your sandalwood and your aquatic notes initially. It makes it a great summer fragrance. And along with that, it is an EDP. And again, you guys, that goes to Huron by Duke Cannon. And number six on this list has maybe come to the realization that I cannot keep spraying these fragrances when I do nightly, video, uh, nightly videos or I will run out of fragrance. It is Sweeter Take or Sweeter Flanker from the line. I talk about it a lot to you guys because I really, really enjoy it. It has a sweet, the woody that projects, it lasts. For me personally, it is, it's gonna be definitely heavily, heavy, heavy in my rotation coming summer. Probably two to three times a week, to be honest with you guys. And number six on this list, guys, is gonna make the person around you go, ooh, what's that smell? It smells delicious, it smells amazing. Who is, who is that that smells so good? It's gonna go to Aqua de Gio, absolutely. With marine notes, it has this woodier notes, it has some sweet notes in there as well. That makes, just make this a very mass appealing fragrance. Um, it's good for both spring, summer, winter year round just know that going into this it is going to be a bit sweet there's a sweet note to it so in the high high heat it might not be the right answer but for me personally when i'm going to be wearing it i'm used to wearing it in the high heat i'm okay with it i've accepted the fact that it's going to be loud it's going to be kind of sweet so i'm all right with that and again guys that is aqua de Gio, absolutely and again y'all that goes to aqua de Gio, absolutely and number five on this list is going to be a fragrance that i have worn pretty heavily in the past i've it's one of the fragrances that i went out and put a backup bottle of i've been kind of neglecting to wear it here recently due to the fact that I'm picking up all this other stuff and I haven't got around to really wearing it because I've been trying out all this other stuff, but it's one that I really know that I enjoy. And now that I have something to pair with it, I have an excuse to, to wear it again. With top notes of bergamot pepper, hard notes of star and eyes, nutmeg and lavender, base notes of vanilla and ambroxan. Number five is going to go to Dior Sauvage EDP, pretty much my most worn of them all in my collection. I mean, even to now, this is one that I've tapped through an entire bottle of and had a backup, backup bottle of. But the reason why it's here is because now I have my Sauvage deodorant spray to wear with it, so I have a reason to kind of try this out to share with you guys my thoughts on the Sauvage deodorant. This is super cheap. It's very surprisingly cheap. I don't know why it's so cheap, but it is. Um, so you guys can see this. I say it's surprisingly cheap, but it's like 30 bucks. And here is the front of the can here. It's just a can, guys. Aluminum can all around. You see this, this says your deodorant. You see there, it says your deodorant vaporizer spray. At the top, you're gonna have your Christian Dior right here. This comes off. You're gonna have a nice little gold right here. A little gold around there. They do it every time. They have the, the best atomizers, even on their freaking deodorant spray. And again, you guys, that is Dior Sauvage EDP with the Sauvage deodorant spray. Now this Sauvage deodorant spray is, is not like the body spray, I don't believe it. It's honestly very impressive, guys. I don't know if you guys have ever seen so them. Yeah, it's good. To me, what, what, what I get with it, I, I don't get the EDT sharpness with it. To me, it's much more similar to the dry down of the EDP versus the EDT or even the Parfum. It's definitely similarities to the EDT, obviously, but to me, just based off the initial wearing of it, it really goes really, really well with the EDP. And by now, you're probably like, okay, Matt, I know you're gonna be wearing more freshies than what you have here. You're gonna have more blue, aquatic, cheapy fragrances. Where, where are your cheap freshies for summer? And well, you know what? This is gonna be one of the ones that I have to wear. It's blue, it's literally blue. It's light blue, to be exact. It is Dolce Gabbana light blue intense. And with a sweet, piercing blue aquatic notes, it is an intense version of another summer staple. Something that's been around for a little bit. It's seen a little bit of hype here on YouTube, rightfully so though. It's gonna go to Dolce Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. This thing is piercing, piercing, sweet. It projects, it lasts. I saw someone in my comments mention if this is full bottle worthy. Yes, it is. For me personally, this is, I would rebuy this again tomorrow if I was out of this right now. And again, you guys, that is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. But now I can't wear, you know, these blue aquatic fragrances every day, right? I can't wear what I've already listed here every day. I'm gonna need to, to kind of switch it up every now and then, right? I wanted to pick a fragrance here that I know that I'm gonna be wearing a lot. And I know that it's gonna be a bit of a 
challenge in a way, but not super challenging. It's just gonna be a bit different from what I'm used to wearing. And some say it's niche while still being a sport fragrance. Now number three being is a little bit different th than everything else on this list. It's gonna be something that so far has performed very well on my skin and has been very, very, very surprising to me. Thank you to Mark I Ropes 08 for the suggestion on this and for the review. It was a good review. With top notes of grapefruit, bergamot, and nutmeg, hard notes of cypress and lavender, base notes of bourbon vetiver, Haitian vetiver, cashmere wood, and musk. Here we have Ancre Noir Sport. Now guys, this is a cool bottle too. Just wanna to mention that. I know it has nothing to do with the fragrance, but you know, sometimes you have to mentioned things like this how it's just kind of a cool bottle so when i first put this on i got a lot of the the, the vetiver and i didn't think it was going to you know, really develop much the first thing came to my mind was when i sprayed it was oh cheap uh hello by lionel richie that's the first thing that came to my mind but it developed into something that was great the heat transformed it, it on my skin transformed into such a pleasant fragrance a very surprising fragrance something that this smelt like it was expensive without being regal i guess it was something that was just very pleasant and very enjoyable but felt very high quality it felt high class like imagine a king on his off day or imagine like a king or a knight maybe maybe a knight this is, this is more like a like a like a knight on his off day and again guys that is Ancre Renoir Sport by the League. number two on this list goes to a brand new fragrance in my collection that I literally got today put it on and my my head about did a spin guys this is the first time in a long time that I've sprayed something I think the last time that I sprayed something that was a blind buy that really made my head spin it was Aqua E by Saboteur Ferragamo and now I stress this to you guys that when I bought that initially my head was like whoa I just that's a great fragrance I was not expecting that now with this fragrance I was expecting it to be different and similar to something else at the same time I didn't expect the opening to be as enjoyable as it was and I definitely did not expect the dry down to be as enjoyable as it was I was thoroughly impressed I am thoroughly impressed it's by sin of the night I'm wearing it this tonight guys it is fantastic juice great stuff and I really see myself going through a lot of this bottle this will not be one that i'm gonna be spraying a lot on camera because it's not very cheap this is one of the more expensive that are on this list now y'all are really gonna like this one with top notes of bergamot pineapple and grapefruit hard notes of jasmine patchouli cedar wood base notes of clear wood oak moss and dry timber wood with those notes you get nishane has your thought has your thought yeah you get that opening that fresh opening of pineapple and grapefruit it's just so nice it pulls you in it's so sweet it's just so nice it's to me I don't want to say this smells better than Ventus. I'm going to have to give it a lot more wear before I say that. It's, it's so nice. I cannot wait to give it some wear. This was my scent of the night. And guys, the dry down is phenomenal. It's great. It makes me happy. It's one that I am. This was a blind buy as well. I am just beyond grateful that this didn't suck. Because <laughs> I would have had a few choice words for some reviewers out there. Luckily, it's good. <laughs> and again, guys, that is Hashifat by Nishane. See, this is, this is why I buy designers, guys. Because it's their names are easily pronounced you get some it smells good <laughs> but here i'm gonna show you guys a bottle real quick just so you guys can see how this thing looks you have the, the top of the bottle here it's really nice guys this is a very clean smooth looking bottle so it's off right here get a heavy heavy cap in there guys and i'll just go ahead and tell you guys that the atomizer on this is pretty good i'm not gonna spray it again i'm wasting another spray but it, it's good Trust me on that one. And number one is what I predict to be my most warm fragrance this summer. It is niche, it's not cheap, it's pretty expensive, but it's worth every dime and every dollar I get spent on it. In my opinion, don't buy retail, don't buy it from a website, find it at a discounter, Kushik, preferably. That's who I got the niche chain from. He sells it for great prices, he has great prices. Get a decant of it first, but if you're able to get your nose on it, do it. With top notes of bergamot, mandarin, lime, and pentagrain, hard notes of rose, lily in the valley, and mint. Base notes of cedar, patchouli, amber, and musk. Number one is going to go to Zerzhov Renaissance. This has been one of the best fragrances that I've ever worn, hands down. So I mean, it's just being worn in the summer, it's just not accurate. This is one of the, the best, highest quality, best smelling fragrances that I've ever put on my body. It is one that I gave to, to my friend to wear to a wedding and it turned out that I want to say everyone put it on, uh, put on this fragrance, but I think everyone actually put on Zerzhov Naxos. This is refreshing. It's so realistic. I'm honestly probably going to wear this one tomorrow, even though I just got this and I really want to wear it. I need to give someone to wear stat because I, I've been neglecting some of these fragrances that I, I told myself that I am going to wear this being one of them and each time that I smell it yeah it's so good there's not a bad thing about this there's not a, there's not a bad note in this there's nothing that's gonna offend anybody so pleasant this is what you want your summer to smell like right here and again guys that is search off renaissance this is also a dope bottle really cool bottle guys even a cooler display but yeah and again you guys that is 10 fragrances that I plan on wearing this summer. Now, if you're still here, feel free to comment down below just your 10, number five, of what you 
see yourself wearing. Or if you have questions about my list here, if you have any questions about the figures that, that I'm talking about, if you want to ask anything about performance, longevity, all that good stuff, just ask down below. Guys, like I always say, keep it gent and love your scent. And I'll see you all next time.